Hi friends, welcome back to my channel about Flutter. In today's video, we will be seeing how to integrate a Lottie animation in, a, in our Flutter app. So what is a Lottie? Lottie is a JSON based animation file format that enables designers to develop the animations in a JSON based file format and to ship them as a static assets in your apps. So you can read more about Lottie right here in this page that says lottiefiles.com. And so why Lottie? So the one thing I wanna point out here is, so if we want to ship an animation or a animation in like a PNG format, it's like a this big as a T-Rex. And the GIFs are as big as this elephant. And the Lottie is like a little puppy right here. So it's like a 600% less in the size uh, as far as the animation file sizes are concerned. So that's the reason we may want to use a Lottie in our, uh, for animation solutions in our apps. And, uh, and, and that's the reason it's getting very popular, uh, we're getting popularity uh, in the world of app development. So in this video, we will see how to find these files, uh, the Lottie animation files, and how to customize it for our, uh, for our needs and then how finally how to integrate in our flutter app all right so right here is as i said it's like a lottiefiles.com is the platform where the, the designers can share and upload these lottie files and uh, so you have different categories right here so let's uh, try use this sky uh, animation or the lottie files and let's try to customize it so the the first thing is like if you want to use just like that as the way it is you can simply download it right here however if you want to uh, do it like a little customization then there are some uh, ways uh, there, is a, there is a editor right here at the bottom that you can edit your uh, this lottie file so first thing you can change the animation speed like the speed it's going right here like the speed of these things are being move moving so these Lottie files are used for motion design, are used by motion designer a lot. So, okay, so let's change, you click on the edit layers. And now, as you can see, these are the two things like a Lottie file properties up there here and the layers are here. So in the Lottie properties file, you can change the duration. Like if you want to make it faster or slower, you can do so here. But for this, we'll keep it the way it is. And however, the background color is right here, the light theme. So if you're planning to do it for the darker themes, you can use this, uh, the, the dark color shade of uh, the background color. And this is where you can change the playback, playback speed, uh, like 1.5 or the less. So that's how you can do it. So you can just keep going and we'll roll over. So we'll go back to our one the way it is right now and now let's change so as you can see it's like a pretty it's more uh, clear sky and these are the different colors group right here so let's make this sky a little bit like a evening sky so let's see if we can add purple say let and hit update let's see what happens so it becomes a little darker sky and maybe it's like a more eveningish. and now these are the green as you can see it's some more hills and Let's see what happens if I can make it a little darker shade here. Okay, so my hill became a little dark and I wanna add a little bit greenish, more green for this. So it's more like a shaded. So now same thing I would do for my another hill too. So I get a little darker shade right here. And for this one, a little dark. Okay, so I'm not a designer. So I may not be picking the right shades. So my point is to show you how you can change uh, uh, the modify a existing Lottie file to fit your needs. So, uh, so you can do it by changing these color and gradients. All right, so I think I'm good with this change and uh, you can make few more changes too if you like. Uh, and now I want to use it in my uh, Flutter application. So as you can see here, export as a Lottie uh, J JSON, you wanna go here, click on it and download to your uh, computer. So this will download here. So now I wanna go here and I will change the 
a name for that. So it's like say uh, sky 2 right here. And now I will go back to my uh, uh, my Android studio. So in here I created few files uh, already uh, but let's create a new one. So let's uh, I have like a demo to here um, that here. All right, so what it's a custom Lottie page I that I created. So it's like a plain app right here, like a, and uh, it's like a main run app, custom Lottie demo page, which is right here, it's a state of, uh, stateless widget. And what in here is, uh, I'll just remove this thing just to show you how it feel, looks like. Okay, so right now, let's run it into our, here in the simulator. All right, so we have this um, custom Latin demo page, which is a, a entry point for this um, it's a stateless widget. And in this page, uh, under this um, uh, under its body, which is blank right now, we'll want we want to show this image that we just modified. So what we do first thing we move uh, the copy the sky to JSON to our assets folder under the Latin folder. And second thing that I want to show you is the uh, pubs uh, pub spec yaml right here so what we want to add our asset newly added asset under the uh, flutter assets and like this uh, asset slash lottie the full path or or you can give like this one too but i'm giving the full path here and uh, another thing you want to add the package so we need the lottie package which support uh, in, uh, in our dependencies of the of this integration so we have this lottie package um, provided by the flutter community is a flutter package and the uh, the version we will be using in, in here is this the current version as of today and add this version into the dependencies right here and call pubget if you haven't already just to make sure these whole dependencies are uh, imported into your environment and then go back to your uh, place where you want to integrate into and in here since i want to add into my container uh, i will uh, add as a child to it and it gives me the lottie child and so i ha have my asset in my asset folder so i can use a uh, lottie asset and as you see this is not imported so you can click on this light bulb right here and can import the package the lottie package right here lottie slash lottie dot dot and in the asset i will give my path to what i have it here so which is assets and lottie and sky2 dot json so i save it so as soon as i save it i will see my changes in my animation is going here and you can see this uh, this is little purplish what we customized now there are two uh, properties of this uh, this lottie asset method i want to show you is one is the repeat so repeat is like whether you want to so in this case the, our animation is already already repeating itself but in case you don't want it to repeat so you can say it false so what happens if this will run this animation will run at one time and will stop so it look it stopped so i auto reload it and it will run one time and then will stop okay say run all right so it started and it will run and stopped now if i want to either i remove this the default behavior is show that uh, the animation as is and in this case it just keeps going uh, but if you want to uh, uh, force it not to repeat you can use false uh, however i want to let it go so i just say true here which is default behavior too and another thing is the reverse so reverse is like i'll say uh, the whatever the direction this uh, image is going uh, sorry animation is going so our bird is flying it was flying the other direction now you see it's going back was going back so it was flying forward and forward now it's going back and back and back so that's how you can reverse in animation too so in this case we don't need reverse so we can say reverse as a false so i just we just want to show the default um, uh, animation which is like this bird is going forward and forward you can also like add a little padding uh, just to give it like a little more 
so that it get get contained inside because it was just going at to edge so it gives like a more nice appeal uh, to this box so uh, there's a one way you can um, uh, customize so you can pick a uh, animation uh, just to reiterate uh, what we did in this uh, video was so we went uh, uh, we were like say you can explore a new image a new animation on this uh, or lottiefiles.com you can click on them then it will take you to the lottie editor and you can go ahead and change the parameters and how fast or slow you want it to go in the lottie properties and then you can download it right here and put into your assets the another way you can do is if you say um, i want to have my this little thing like in this uh, something i'm pre preparing food so i do not i just want to use this as a theme i don't want to change anything so another uh, way i have is using this uh, url so if i click on this and i go back to my uh, here in my flutter and i'd simply say a lottie dot network so download from network and i put my url right here so let's see what happens so and you just run it again okay see look the animation change so there's a two ways to do it if one is from directly from url and another is from your assets and also when you have an asset either you can do one by one or another another way to do is is the uh, you can have the whole zip of uh, of your uh, animation so that you can do read more about that uh, customization in the readme on our this package lottie package which gives this functionality so in here there's a three ways to do this asset that we just saw uh, one asset that we customize and put it another another one is like directly from our um, url uh, like uh, wherever it's available public url and the third one is from the zip file of the um, a couple of more multiple uh, animations and uh, so it has more uh, stuff too like if you want to customize your behavior uh, like how you want it to be loaded on now uh, you can read here so there's it's like in pretty much detail so um, i hope you got the idea of how to use lottie animation how to get started using lottie animation in your flutter apps uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this video if so please share and like this video and i will see you in the next video